Hi, welcome to Key Factor Community. I'm Sven, and I'm going to walk you through how to use the eGBCA container running on Docker. So a few prerequisites. You obviously need to have a VM ready that you can SSH into that has internet access to start here. So let's switch over to the terminal and take a look. We're going to log into my Linux VM. And then we're going to create a directory in here where we'll run the container and also store a database. This will use a MySQL database, or actually, sorry, MariaDB database. That way we can keep it stateful and have an ephemeral eGBCA container that you can swap it out and just point it to the database and be able to pick right up where you left off when you powered the container off. So seeding the containers. The next thing we're going to do is leverage Docker Compose. So let's create a simple compose file and inside of this, we will put the following, as I copy and paste it here. The database container will pull MariaDB latest, and then we're going to use the community edition latest. And we'll provide links for where to download these in the video description. So don't worry about not having the information. Just follow the link that you got, and you'll be able to get it. All right, so with that, we're going to do a Docker Compose up dash G to throw in the background. Now it's going to pull the container since we don't have them already and depending on how fast your internet connection is this could take a couple minutes. All right, now after they're pulled, it starts. Let's do some logs here to watch it boot up. So we'll do docker compose logs f, and we can see the database and the eGBCA container starting up. And since this is the first time starting, eGBCA container will create all the tables and add the indexes to the database on first run, and then start booting up Wildfly, and once that's all set, we'll be able to access it through a web browser. So let's stay tuned till that's finished. All right, now we're ready to come over here and hit Control C in the shell. And at this point, the container's up, so let's go back over to the web browser now. All right, we've got Firefox open. We're going to go to HTTPS, eGBCA node 1. And we're going to click Cancel right now for Remember the Decision for Cert. And then go to Advanced, scroll down here accept the risk, uncheck that again, because we want it to end up prompting us a cert once we get this in there, and we don't want it to cache that. We'll go to administration now. Might have to hit this a few times like this. All right, we're in, maybe not a few times. And now what we want to do that we're in here, we're gonna go over to the Ari web and make a new certificate for the super admin. So we'll do end user provided by the CA. We're going to select RSA 2048. And then in the name, we're going to do capital S super A admin. Scroll down, uncheck the key recoverable, even though we're not going to use it. It's not going to be used because it's not configured. That will be covered in a later lesson as well. Here we're going to do a lowercase super admin. And we're going to do the password foo 123 and then retype foo, one, two, three, and we're going to download the P12. 
After that, we can close the RA web tab. We're going to go to the settings now, and we'll type insert here to open the view certificates tab. And what we want to do is install that P12. So go to import and switch over to my downloads. And scroll down to our super admin. We'll open that up and put in our password 3123. We'll do sign in. And then we'll click OK to close that. We can close this tab too. Then we're back on super admin. So we're going to go over to the roles. We're going to delete this role now. Do a little cleanup because that's added for the newer 711 that they did for some of the other deployment methods like cloud or the hardware appliance to be able to come in that way. But we're going to go to the members now, the super admin role. We're going to add common name, management CA for the super admin. We're going to go super admin with the capital S and A. We're going to add that. And then we can just go back to the shell and we're going to do a docker, compose, restart. And we'll restart the containers now. And then when that happens, we will tail the logs and wait till it comes back up. And then we'll go into the browser with the cert off and we can do the final cleanup to complete the video. So now it's back up. Let's go back to the admin website. So we'll take that out. And now we'll get prompted for our cert super admin. Click OK. And now it says welcome super admin. So now we can go over to the roles and access rules, members, and we're going to delete this public transport now. So we'll click delete. Now at this point, EGBCA is locked down that only the super admin can come up and then return to the command prompt. All right, so over here, we'll just do a control C to stop the logs and then we'll do a docker compose down. And this will stop our containers. And that's the end of this video tutorial of using EGBCA Community Edition with Docker.